December 17th, 2018 is the last time I published a video on this channel, which is almost been two months and it's been far too long and you guys deserve some answers. Where the heck you been, Vic? Did you get sick? Did you die? Did you move? None of those are true, but I will answer all of those burning questions at the end of this video. One huge reason I decided to take a break was to up my video production quality and just to learn, research, new camera gear. And if you guys liked that intro, please go ahead and hit that like button because that is one thing I really want to push forward in 2019 is just up in the production quality of the videos and then a really big component to this channel as far as the business side is merch and with that being said all merch is on sale at incredibly low prices I need to get rid of all of it make room for new inventory I'm talking about long sleeves performance tees $19.99 short sleeve performance tees $14.99 the white long sleeves are on sale for $17.99 these are prices that you guys will never see again in the description box below or Fishing. Gear.com. And like I said, guys, these are not going to be around forever. So get them all you can. You guys didn't come here to watch me talk in my garage. You guys came here to see some fishing. That's what we're going to do. Let's go. All right guys, we're on the jetty. It's me, Brando, and Bo today. We are on the south side and we are after some jacks. We're after sharks. We're at the Palm Beach Inlet and this is a huge major shipping channel. It's kind of cool to see the variety of life here. You got all these huge cruise ships coming out of the inlet. You got black tip sharks on the south side. We're trying to get on some jacks too. Throw on really big poppers. So let's see what we can get on. Well, so far, nothing. We've all made a decent amount of casts. Guys down there catching a few blue runners and jacks, but so far empty handed on uh, the poppers. So let me show you guys what I'm throwing. This is actually a popper made by, uh, there's a subscriber who makes these. I think it's Popper JQ. I'll link his stuff in the description box below, but very neat, all handmade poppers. He even puts his signature on there. Just real cool stuff. Big, big, uh, they throw a really big, nice wake. And check this out, this is the algae. You can literally slip and slide on this stuff. I don't even lift my feet up, I just slide across it. Otherwise you're dead. After about an hour of just repeated cast after repeated cast, nothing chasing it, no signs of life, I just decided to get some B-roll and practice with the gimbal to just get better at the video and kind of make this video entertaining for you guys. So the next thing you'll see is the drone in the air. So Brando and Bo have never seen me fly the drone and since we're getting a little skunk today, I figure we got eyes in the air, we could go surf or how do you say survey? We could survey. We could survey, survey, survey this whole area along the beach, the whole jetty and everywhere. So if we can't find the fish, we're gonna find them with the drone. So we didn't see, I didn't see anything, you guys didn't see anything. No. We still had fun flying the drone and uh, I think we're gonna head down the beach and look for black tips on the beach because there's no activity on the jetty. Looked on the inside, looked on the outside. We looked at the buoy, looked at the beach. Got some really cool shots of boats, but um, as far as the fish, nothing. So we walked down off of the jetty and I'm on the drone right now and I actually spotted two or three black tips. So the boys went down there and they're gonna go and cast towards the drone because I'm keeping an eye on the sharks with the drone, but they're not schooled up in a big ball like they usually are. It's kind of just solo. So I'm gonna set the camera right here and kind of talk to you guys. And when I find them on the screen again, I will show you. 
Well, you guys will see it in the video. Oh, there's one. Cass! Right by my drone! They're working their way down the beach, but they're, they're not bald. Oh, so sick, so shallow. They are so shallow, oh my gosh. Moving up with the drone, you guys will see the sharks, and you're about to see Brando and Bo in the frame, I'm pretty sure. The sharks are over there. Oh yeah, the sharks are solid. Come look, look at how many there are. There's tons. See where, where my drone is is where they are, bro. Yeah, but where it's at, I can't reach with the lure. Okay. Hold on, but keep looking. Look at the screen. Look at all the like, uh, I think they're far. I don't know if you guys saw that on camera, but these blades are made out of plastic right here, but they will mess you up. That was the first time I actually had the blades hit my finger, because the way that this drone works is you have to grab it from underneath, flip it around, and since I don't have anything really flat besides these chairs over here to really land it on, but it's all sandy, I prefer to grab it by hand, and this thing just whacked the crap out of me, and it does not feel good. Three words for you guys, tell the story. These are three words that have been burning in the back of my head, especially going into 2019. And what they mean to me and what it means for this channel is I don't want it just to be about fishing. I want this channel to be all about the outdoors. I want it to be about the adventure, the experience. And there's so many times where I'm hard on myself where I go fishing and we don't catch anything or it's not epic enough. And one thing that I've really come to learn is you can make almost anything, any content entertaining, as long as you take the time and energy and engage with your viewers. And that's why I'm having this open conversation with you guys. This video that I just posted today is one of my favorites I've ever made because we didn't catch anything, but I just enjoyed the process of going out there. And I realized that there's so many of you who don't live in Florida, who live all around the world, and you guys just wanna see the experience and all these boats coming out of the inlet, the shark migration, it's, you know, I take it for granted a lot of the time because we are used to catching a lot of stuff and we are used to seeing a lot of things, but Telling the story is what matters. At the end of the day, it's your interpretation of that day. You're sharing your experience, and that's what I want to do with you guys, and I want it to be so much more than just fishing. I want it to be all about the outdoors. That's where that little gist is coming from. So I'm not quitting. I just took a break. I really needed to clear my head and just kind of get a grip on what I want to do moving forward in 2019. And then just a bunch of events happened in the last two months. I only get to see my mom about once a year. She lives in California. So my mom and little brother came over here. I got flu for the first time in like six years back to back. Brooke and I are talking about buying a house together, which is very exciting. So we're going through the mortgage process, planning trips, which brings me to my next point is you guys will see a lot more travel on this channel and one thing I need to realize as a business owner is getting organized and sticking to what I say. In 2018 I would just fish, film, post, fish, film, post but now I want to push the envelope. I get tired of doing the same thing over and over again. I want to show you guys different fisheries. I want to show you guys different dive spots but that requires a lot of detail and planning that are months ahead of time. So I got two trips that you guys should be very excited about. And if you guys wanna follow on our trips, that brings me to another point is, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, what the heck are you doing? It's Landshark Outdoors. I will link it down here and put it on the screen, but you guys can see a lot of cool stuff. I do polls on there and you guys will get inside looks at videos and things and you kind of just keep up the day to day of the production and what goes on behind the scenes. Now, Brick and I are going to Costa Rica February 20th to 26th. We're going to Capos, Quapos, and she's actually fishing the Pescadora Billfish Championship, which I'm super stoked about because she's gonna get to most likely catch her first blue marlin. But we actually have two extra days at the end of the trip, the 24th, 25th, and 26th we're leaving. So if you guys are from the area, have friends or family, know a charter or anything, or would like to meet up, please email me below or drop a comment and maybe we can make something happen. And then as you guys are watching this, Brooke and I will be somewhere over the Caribbean going to a beautiful island in St. Lucia, 
staying at this incredibly breathtaking resort called Ladera, which I'm super stoked about. This is a trip that um, we actually got invited on and I am beyond stoked. So two major things to look forward to on the channel. And we got two brand new sponsorships for the channel. Number one, Dexter Outdoors, badass knife company. Um, very affordable, did a lot of time and research looking for a knife company. And as I always say on this channel, I keep it real with you guys, I keep it transparent and I would never promote a product I don't, do not firmly believe in. You guys are gonna get to see a lot of informative videos from here on out of how to flay videos. I'm gonna do an entire new series featuring the knives as well as we got brand new coolers. Angle Ro Roto Molded Coolers. This is actually the original company to do Roto Molded Coolers way before Yeti. So gone are the days of the Walmart cooler. I got a stack of them over there and I'm very excited to bring these two companies on board. And don't forget, this is the last shot, the last hoorah, the final sale of all the Landshark merch. It is, I'm not kidding when I say that it's not gonna be around any longer after this moving forward. I wanna thank you guys again for watching this video and my promise to you guys is to tell the story as best I can never settle and to constantly keep pushing this channel forward. So thank you guys. And I'll see you in that next video.